What's going on guys, Chandler here. So this is gonna be my new segment on my YouTube channel called First Listen Review. That is taken from my $5 tier full album reactions. So I react to the entire album and then at the very end, I give my overall thoughts and initial thoughts and a score on the album as a whole. So again, if you do like what you see and wanna support the channel going forward, head over to patreon.com slash Chandler Burton Entertainment. This is exclusive to the $5 tier. Again, you get a full album reaction review and a whole bunch of other perks as well if you guys are interested and again there's always a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment but with that being said i hope you guys enjoy the review and thank you all so much for watching On the positive side here, this album was great. So I'm going to give my first listen review, and uh, that is coming up next. So make sure you stick around for that. All right. So again, that was Becoming the Archetype with their new album, Children of the Great Extinction. Again, 10 years since they put out, over 10 years since they put out an album, just about. Was it worth the return or was it 10 years too late? I think this album is actually pretty good. So I'm super excited to talk about it with you guys here. So I got a couple of pros that I want to talk to you guys here. And again, my pros are just my overall thoughts, like just kind of my initial things that stuck out to me here. Uh, so number one, I really like the screaming on this album. I believe his name's Jason Wisdom is his name. I, I've always liked this band, but I never really took the time to learn the band members' names. But I believe his name is Jason Wisdom, which... That is the most, that is like the thickest name I've ever heard in my life. Just a fantastic name. Uh, his vocals were great. They were very clear. He had really good enunciation in his voice. Like, I love how he just went from like a low, like to a mid scream. Like he didn't really have any high screams, but his low to mids were really, really cool. The kind of, his mids kind of remind me of mine. So I thought that was kind of cool. I was like, oh, that's actually pretty sick. So I thought like the, the, the vocals on the screaming, the tone that Jason had was absolutely fantastic. Just sounded great. Sounded like he just knew what he was doing. A well-seasoned vocalist, I guess you could say. And then I really liked the singing as well on this here. I think Jason did some, then the bass player and the keyboard player did some as well. Uh, the singing was very uh, very smooth is the best way I can describe it. Like, the singing was nothing too crazy on the album, but it definitely added a, an extra element to an already fantastic metalcore album. Like, a lot of it reminded me of, like, Betraying the Martyrs, where, like, the keyboard would come in and the, the person would sing. It kind of had those Betraying the Martyr elements to me here and again i thought the singing while not the best thing i've ever heard in my entire life better than mine but it definitely had a, a very very smooth sing i thought that was really really good about about the vocals here uh number two is probably the biggest pro that i will give this album is that every single song sounded different become the archetype is super super talented especially in a day and age where every song on each album whether it's metalcore deathcore uh sounds just about the same you know i just talked about it with spite where a few of the songs kind of just sounded the same it'd be a little hard to tell this one i could tell each song through and through because they were all super unique whether it was because they had like really cool atmospheres in the background like an orchestra kind of playing or the really cool guitar work or like even just like the acoustic stuff like on phantom feels that made this album really stand out so i thought they did a really good job of taking each song and kind of making it their own that that's the biggest compliment i will give the album for sure and then my last compliment last pro i want to give it here it felt like these guys have never left which is again another huge pro because i mean obviously when you're away for 10 years or longer sometimes people bring they bring back you know a return and everyone's like i don't know how this is going to sound but this was a fantastic album while i didn't love every song on the album i thought they did a good job like the musicianship that these guys have are absolutely fantastic and again like it's just been fantastic having them back if you know me and my personality by now, you're already going to know what my only con with the album is here. There were like two songs on there that were a little bit too long that kind of lost my attention because they were a little bit too long. So The Awakening started out as like a really cool, sounded like something from like a, like a modern day Western, which was really cool. I was like, this is actually really sick because again, I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and I was like, man, I would love to, this intro is like perfect for this type of game. And the song was good, don't get me wrong, it was an absolutely fantastic song, but it just kind of dragged for me near the end. And it, it makes me go like, you know, this song could have been split into two, three minute songs, absolutely could have done that. And we gotta talk about Sacrament. I really like Sacrament. I thought it was really cool. Had so many, uh, everything I talked about in my pros, uh, we're in this song. So like, again, really good singing, great screaming, like the tones of the singing, all the musicianship, everything about it sounded great, except the song definitely could have been toned down to like 
four to six minutes, like without question. And just again, the song starts off so cool. It's got so many cool elements in it there, but then it's like it just kind of loses my attention because the song is just so long. And the outro was a little bit long. Probably saw it in my face where I was like, it just needs to kind of wrap up a little bit here. But again, if that's the only con that I have for an album like that, I think that's I think that's pretty dang good. But again, again, few songs on the album um, that honestly, like Sacrament, I feel like is a one time experience for me here. But again, still a really cool song. The top three favorite songs from this album here, I gotta say, and these are not in any particular order, by the way. I was just you know going through the, the list again, figure out what songs I like the most. So again, not in any particular order, just my top three overall. Uh, so I gotta say The Calling, I know that one was a single, but I didn't get a chance to listen to it here because I got a little busy. Really wish I would've done a reaction to that here so I could listen to it over and over. That song was terrific. The visualizer was really cool as well. Definitely a stand on the album for sure. The other song I really liked was The Curse. That one just had some really just in your face guitar playing, really cool riffs in that here jason's vocals were absolutely fantastic on that that one really caught my attention definitely one of my favorites on the album and then i really like the opening track dead world i thought they did a good job kind of introducing you to like the becoming the archetypes type type of sound and kind of just draws you in kind of like a good book or a video game or a movie the intro was supposed to grab you and it kind of just took me along for the ride so again i thought this was a great opening track and everything that i mentioned in my pros is present in this song and it's absolutely fantastic so the real question is, again, is this album 10 years too late or is it just here in time for us to enjoy? The answer is, it should definitely be here. This was a really sick album, man. Like, I really enjoyed it. As I talked about before, this is the definition of an underrated band. Even when they were putting out music pretty consistently here, they just were not talked about a lot in the metalcore community. I mean, they had definitely had a pretty cool following of people where, like, they're saying it's the greatest metalcore band of all time. And I think they did a great job, you know. I, I hope people remember them, and I hope people check out this album or buy it or support them because... This is a really cool album, man. Like, it wasn't over-reliant on, like, breakdowns. Like, it was just a straightforward... It was, like, it reminded me of good old-fashioned just metalcore. Like, it had really cool riffs, great tones. Everything about it just really worked for me here. It definitely had that become of the archetype feel to it here. And, again, their, mu their musicianship was just so fantastic. Like, it just felt like they never left. Which again is a huge compliment for this band. Again, there's a few songs on here I could probably skip. Again, Phantom Fields, while being a really cool like middle track, um, I probably won't listen to it again. It's one of those songs where it's like it, it was cool for a one-time listen. Again, same with Sacrament. It had so many good elements in it here. I just wish it was a little bit shorter. Just my own personal opinion, I probably would have made one of my favorites. It was just a little bit shorter. But again, I'm just nitpicking those little things here. This album is honestly terrific. Like, I think it's really cool, and I really hope people check it out and don't sleep on it. I'm going to give Become of the Archetype, Children of the Great Extinction, a 9 out of 10. Great return to form. It's too bad we had to wait 10 years to get it. And I hope we get something else here in the near future. I hope we don't have to wait 10 years for another album, because if that's the case... I'll be 38 years old, probably still wanting to make these YouTube videos. So let's hope that we get some new music uh, sometime soon. Great album.